what's going on guys welcome back to fishing with norby packed up in the truck here i got all my gear we're ready to go out film an episode for you guys but first i'm hungry i'm gonna dig into this dollar jerky club box give me a snack i'm gonna sit down sit out here it's a little cold today i'm hungry i've been working but I'm gonna eat me this little beef stick right here. These things are delicious. This brand right here, they send a new brand, seems like every month, Dollar Jerky Club. This is Think Jerky. And I've gotten this brand once before, uh, I think, and it was delicious. We got Classic, Sriracha Honey, Sesame Teriyaki, some more beef sticks and a couple more bags in there but dollar jerky club i'm actually going to give a box away to you guys i partner with them they send me a box and they let me give one away to you guys so i'm gonna eat this box but to be entered to win one of these boxes we'll just send it to you guys for free comment down below uh what you think we're gonna catch today the biggest fish you think we're gonna catch we're getting ready to go out here try and get them but i'm excited we'll ship this out i'll choose the winner uh one week from today but i'm ready let's go catch them guys it's, it's a little chillier today it's 51 degrees it's been 70 but huge storm came through today's a cold front we're gonna see how that affects them i don't know let's get out there and catch them me on a tiny little black grub today got it about two and a half foot down let's see if we can't get us one here it's cloudy i like using darker baits when it's cloudy this is a hair jig actually let's see if anything munches it There's one. First cast. Oh my gosh. We got us a crappie. Look at that little crappie. That is such a baby. First cast of the day though. Alright. Well, we're going for a little bit bigger ones than that. Throwing right out here. Got some bait moving. Keep it going. I'm actually going to lower my jig a little bit, try a little deeper. There's fish moving. Got to get to the right depth. Move it down about a foot. See if that'll do it. If not, we might have to switch it up. There's one. Threw it over there. A little bit different spot what do we got another crappie wow okay these crappie are babies that is way too small but healthy population there's some big ones in here that is for sure gunnersville is home to some giants oh another bite okay we're doing a bait switch Try the black hair jig. No luck. We're going to switch it up. And we're going to throw on what I like to call a bedspread fly. Just this little tiny white fly. Something these shiners are going to eat. We got to catch some big fish today, but we can't do that unless we catch a few shiners. So, put that one down rig up this little white bedspread fly don't have a cast net with me or anything 
This little guy should catch them, it normally does. They love it. Let's go right back over here to where I just got hit on the black fly. There's a bed spread out there. Let's see if that changes their mind. I got a little lead tied on it, so it'll sink down. I actually might need to add a little weight. Yeah, we're gonna add a little split shot to it. Get down there quicker with this eel grass. Don't got time to let it sink. It gets caught on eel grass. Just a little, little bullet weight split shot. There we go. That little guy right there is gonna make all the difference. We're just gonna put it about six inches up. Okay. I bet this is gonna get munched first cast. We shall see. And I hooked a rope. Gosh. No way. It broke. It broke the hook on my bedspread fly. The rope did. That's terrible. I'm going to try it anyway. It's still on there. It's just hanging on by what I tied the bedspread fly with. Jeez. There's one. We're hooked up on the fly. Let's see what we got here. Had to switch to the fly to get a shiner, I think. Yep, sure enough. Look at that beautiful golden shiner in the weeds. <laughs> My hook is broken, but I still caught this fish somehow. I don't know how I'm going to get this hook out. Got it. All right, we're going to throw him in the bucket now. Actually, we're going to go ahead and put him on a bass rod. Catch us something good. Yeah. So, what I got rigged up here is a wide gaff hook. I'm going to go through his lip, his bottom lip, and his top lip, just like that. Got me a katana hook here, 4 up. And then, I'm going to set him in the water so he doesn't die. And I'm going to grab me... It's a, a big old balloon, just like that. I'm gonna get me a, let's go pink. We're gonna go pink, big old pinky. I'm gonna blow it up here. All right, like that. And we're gonna tie him around the line as my bobber okay and then i also have a split shot on here and the split shot's about a two foot down bobber's about three and a half foot up shiner's on there here we go i'm gonna try to throw it away from this eel grass so it doesn't get in the way and then we're gonna watch our balloon we're gonna try to catch another shiner put another rod out see if we can get a big old bass I'm gonna turn my drag all the way off on these that way he could just pull it out people ask me why why don't you just press the button and that's because you'll rat nest if they run with it real fast so just turn your drag down all right we're ready to catch us another one we still got our fly with broken hook here threads are hanging on <laughs> I got another one if I need it, but still working. There's one. Yes. Broken hook still working. That's crazy. We're going to put another one on a balloon here. Oh yeah. Pretty golden shiner. Super gold. Wow, that's what we want right there. So bright, so pretty. 
that hook comes right out okay we'll blow us up another balloon here do the same thing we got to wait about halfway up the, the line on this one too i actually have a, a tungsten <laughs> sinker pegged because i was using the split shot carolina rig last Woo, he's feisty same thing here turn it down watch the balloon okay fill my bucket up with some water we're gonna try to catch us a couple more backup shiners here we still got our balloon on this side out here we go Oh gosh, I just had one take it guys. We just had one take it. Alright. So he's gonna be eating it for a minute. He's sitting there with it. Got our drag set good. Our reel up on him. Oh, I see the bass trying to eat him. I see it. I don't think he's got him yet. He does not have him yet. He's trying to get him. Wow. There he goes. Oh, he didn't have the shiner yet. I'm going to throw it right back out there. That's crazy. That bass came out of the water trying to eat that shiner. We watched it happen. <laughs> it was just a baby bass. Too big of a shiner, I guess. Nah, we want the big ones. That's crazy switching it up to the scout fly if you did not see where i tied a fly with scouts fur video that's the fly we're using right there scouts fur there's one first cast guys once i put on the old scout fly and it's a crappie can't even use it Happy. There's one. Oh, he's in all that eel grass. Come on. Where have we got here is a good one. Oh yeah big old shiner okay we're gonna rig back up with this guy fat shiner wow and then we're gonna catch us a big old fish on this shiner i hope okay going back out him way over there I'm gonna let him swim around a ways on that side all right guys we got something playing with us here he's taking it I don't think he's on there uh, yeah. Nope. Yep, yeah, just a small bass. That's a big old shiner. I know. Good problems. Good, very good problems. <laughs> so only had that those two bites. That one you could see him eat it, but I missed him. So I came out here the next morning. The sun is just coming up. It's early, guys. I already got one shiner out on a balloon right there. We're in a little bit different spot. We're gonna see what happens. He's towing that balloon around. But I got another pull. I'm gonna fish for another shiner. See if we can't catch one 
and have two rigs going. Let's go. Next morning, let's get them. Another one. Oh my gosh. Just a little baby. Where are the big crappie at? Little guys are in here. Way too small. Just right up here next to the edge of the sailboats. Let's see if any big ones are here with them. Got a nine inch limit to keep them here on Gunnersville. We'll keep a few crappie if we catch them today. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful sight. Look at that, guys. Big old largy on the balloon. Two and a half, two and three quarters. Not a giant. Hooked him right in the roof of the mouth. That's why he hooked those shiners in the nose. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. We're without a boat. But we're still catching bass off the docks here, Lake Gunnersville. That's a good one. All right, see you, buddy. Yes, now we gotta catch us another shiner. That's awesome. That didn't take too long. I wasn't getting any bites on the shiner way out, so I just dropped it here right by the dock. These bass are traveling up and down the dock looking to eat. There we go. Yes. There we go. First keeper of the day. In between waiting for bass, we're gonna keep him. Either throw him in the pond or flame him up. Put some water in our bucket. There's a 10 incher. What a beaut. Gotta love that. Hmm. Three bites in a row and then they shut off. Move on to the next one. Maybe they move down. They have so many places to hide under these sailboats. It's almost hard to fish for them. Well, guys, that was all the time we have for today. Caught one bass, hooked up with a couple yesterday, had one more bite today, and I don't know. They're just not feeding like crazy in this cove. I was surprised. Last year they were feeding pretty good in here but not the case this year caught a couple crappie but I couldn't even get on a consistent crappie bite here in April I don't know we'll have to find some crappie somewhere else I guess but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna get out of here for the day God bless you and we'll catch you next time here on fishing with Norby